to as a brand new application called Time Zones. Double, double click on it, let it load in. Up here, as you can see, you've got a thing called there Select Time Zones, brings down a menu. Get Time Zone info, so click on that. That gives us Time Zone for London. Basically, United Kingdom. So, so I'll now go and do another one. I think I'm looking to do an update is have these here as sub menus. Go to one I've been testing, you've got is Australia, Broken Hill. That's all the information that's gone back again. There's a new button there, set default time zone. Get the MC. That's you knowing daylight saving time. Again, <coughs> on the 2nd of uh, October at 6.30 GMT time, time difference. Here you got a set default time zone, so I've kept that, now hides it. I now quit it, I load it back in again, it comes on to that one there. That. Refresh time zone, what that does is up another window that allows you to uh, update the menu from the internet of the time zones and stores it in the application. I suppose the words to say about this, proper one a couple of things. So the abbreviation, click on that. It opens a window. Processing. You. One thing about the Australian Central Daylight Saving Time. And you look here, that one there, current time, Australian Broken. So it's basically what's on here, where the information comes. And clicking on here, it's Capsoft application, it takes you to my website right on the place where it is to download it from. Um, Data by World Time API is the uh, provider of the, of the information. If we download from our website, I think it will be in the description, as well as uh, a link to the uh, where the, the data comes from. If you do like my software, why not purchase some of my merchandise? Again, in the description, or you can uh, Make me some way through my Kofi pages. Once again, a link in the description. Um, thank you for reaching the end of the video, and I'll see you whatever the next video is going to be about. Okay, thanks, and goodbye.